Hi, you. Um, I decided I want to park. I really, really want to park. I want a place where, you know, my Sims can come to night or day where it's not going to matter about the time so much, where they might be able to run into people, you know, meet other people, have a nice place to sit and have some things going on. Now, what you're seeing here is, is how I built. I started, whoops, at this end, and this seems like a nice entrance. There's a couple of things going on here. You know, maybe I'll be able to plant a tree down in here, which actually I haven't tried yet. I wonder if I can do that, because that needs a tree or something stuck in the center there. Can I put anything in there? Maybe I can't. I'll have to go in town mode and plant something there. So anyway, I thought this looks like a nice entrance. It's even, I think. So I just built, um, I, I just grabbed a tile, whatever, and put it across here. These little things, you're seeing my sketch pad here more or less these little things are I, I just count over 10 10 whatever make sure it was even and it was this is the center of this lot it's not the center at this end however the road doesn't quite even up but you know that's okay we're going to use that as the main entrance so it'll work out just fine now this one when I started counting out from the center well I counted in from each end and counted in from that end this is actually one square more narrow than this one I don't think that's going to matter too much so I mean that's the size of the lot it is what it is now I had planned on making this a very formal sort of Italian water garden this was going to be big big water features here lots of fountains and things going on uh, you know marble places to sit statues that kind of thing and then I ran into a glitch <laughs> which is kind of fun see this little pink thing here I can't delete it I can't pick it up it's there it says it's in use apparently there's some person somewhere in this city that wants to pick it or it's just whatever there were different seeds and plants on these sides I was able to get rid of them that one won't go anywhere and see that little tiny dot right there can you see that one you can't even, maybe can't even see it but it's there and let me show you what that is and I can't move it either and I don't think I'd want to because check this out it's a little bitty guinea pig. It is the cutest little thing. What are they calling them here? Warm rats. I want to name it and take it home. So, <laughs> so there he is. I have a guinea pig. I can't move. I have a flower. I can't move. The Italian garden will have to live somewhere else. So I thought with this bunch, I would do, I mean, I'm still going to have fountains in the center, but I thought each square could be used for a different purpose. We could have like a kid's playing area. Over here, we can have a small building with public toilets and then um, the, um, you know, picnic tables for a place to eat. We'll put in some barbecue pits, that sort of thing. That'll be awesome. One of these I could turn into a flower garden because I tend to do that. And then over here, we'll just have a nice big lawn area with some relaxing chairs. You can, you know, maybe sit out in the sun, that kind of thing. Or we could turn this into, you know, a place for just a lot of fun. We could look at some of the, I don't know, some of the hobby things, maybe. What have we got here? Um, what is this? See, a family fun water arena. That could go over in the kids' department, I guess. What do we have in here? Hobbies and skills. An outdoor chess place. That might be fun where you can sit and play some chess. An antique. Oh, that's a pretty thing. Uh, oh, I was looking in here, and this has nothing to do with the part, but I got so excited. <laughs> I have to show you. Look. It's a little bitty train set. <laughs> I love train sets. I thought this was so amazing and I just put it there to remind myself that a it is here and I have got to get this into a house for somebody because I love train sets 
I just, I, yeah, I love trains. I would love to have an entire large room someday devoted to train sets where I could make little houses and do landscaping and, oh, yeah. That would just, yeah, that would make me all kinds of happy. <laughs> that would be fun. But I thought there, oh, see, we have a skating rink. <coughs> we could put something like that into the park. Um, what else do we have? A brain enhancing machine never hurts. Look at this, a broom arena. We could play Quidditch. <laughs> okay, maybe we need one of these. That could be kind of fun. I like it. Super ski ball. <coughs> What's this? Oh, check that. See, Ooh, this park's going to be awesome fun. You're going to get here. I'll have places to eat. Um, what is that? A pool table. Places to rest, lots of fun things to do. You'll be able to learn skills. Maybe you just never have to go home at all. That would be the ultimate, ultimate park, wouldn't it? Mm. Chemistry. Anyway, so we have some options for this. Um, we could put some workout stuff. You could just get, you know, all buff and things. Bucking Bronco, that never hurts. A nub set. Yeah. Trampolines are always fun. Look at that. Outdoor bowling. <laughs> Maybe not that one. We'll have to make a bowling alley at some point. Snowboard. Look at this. A golf range for the parents while the kids are playing in the other places. Ping pong tables. See, this is going to be an awesome little park where you can just come and hang forever with all the other people that I haven't put in the town yet. So you know what? Let's start with the kids stuff. We'll just we'll just do that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these fountains. I mean, something change the colors probably. Put in some actual fountain things because you know that's good. A little one in the corner right there. That's cute. And then something a whole lot bigger in the middle. Okay, not that big. Let's go down. And can we center it? There we go. So that'll be cute. Not what I wanted, but we'll do we'll do a fancy formal fountain or a formal park somewhere else. And yes, these will be changed absolutely because that's just gross. But um, ooh, I thought I crashed the game. See, I'm gonna kill people. I'm gonna crash the game. I'm just such a great player. So what would we want for the kids? What do we want for the kids? Um, there's swings, the water things. Let's just go to kids. What do we have for kids? A hopscotch. That's always fun. The hopscotch is awesome. Uh, miscellane. Oh, oh, these little uh, writing things. They're so cute. You can even play them at the Dark Moon Fair in Azeroth. See, we get a little boat. Okay, let's just pop some of these down and see how that's going to work. A rocket? Oh, yeah. Um, a pink horsey type thing. A seahorse. What else do we have? There's a, a little bee. Oh, he's cute. I thought there was something, something, something else that I liked a lot, and I can't think what it was. It was one of these. I'm missing something here. One of those, one of those, one of those. Here's there. That's there. Hmm. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe I dreamed about it. <laughs> Not that I would ever do that. Oh my god. Anyway, there's five of those. Um, I'm still thinking I'm forgetting something. There was another one. Oh, what's that? A school of plastic fish. No, that goes on the wall somewhere. 
So we got him, we've got him, we've got him, we've got that one, we've got that one. That's the seahorse. That's the bee, that's the rocket, that's the ship, that's that. Okay, fine, well, I guess that's it. And if you're seeing it, I apologize for, you know, being me. Oh, look at this. More trees! A sci-fi tree. Is that, like, amazing or what? <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, a princess castle. Now, we could put one of these in. But, come on. Yeah. We need a kid's clubhouse. This is just absolutely too cool for words. And that has the slide connected to it. How fun is that? Oh my god, I would have loved this park as a kid. Oh my goodness. What's that? A slippy... A slippy sweet. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There was a dragon one. What do they call it? A... Rib it, rib it, froggy, make frog slide. Absolutely, the world needs more of these. So we'll sit him down. We get the little rides. We've got this. You can have a swing set. You have to have Mr. Toodles. Oh, this remind. I got to do the candy shop. I've got all this Katy Perry stuff. We have got to do like the kind of candy shop tourists come to. It's got to be big and amazing and I'm going to use all of her stuff in this. It's going to be amazing. Okay, there's a swing. What's this? Hmm. It's worms. <laughs> okay, that's kind of fun. We have a wormy swing set. Maybe? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want worms in the park? Oh, I love that one. But not for the park. Not a public park. We're just going to, you know what? I think we're just going to stick with, you know, the tried and true because we can pop these in like that. Um, and do as many as we want. So I think we'll go ahead and use these. And can I add a slide to this? I know we have slides. Can you just like tuck them up next to it or? Yeah, maybe not. On that side, yeah, like that, that sort of thing. You know that's awesome. You wanna come and play here. I know it, you know it just yeah it's gonna be great and we have a little snow cone machine here I'll put the very small train set away maybe not maybe I'll find a way to put it in the park <laughs> I love trains oh my god trains are just yeah brilliant so what else could we have for kids to play on we they can go climb up here and slide they can slide they can swing they can get all wet and gooey they can have little rides um, what is this? A little, oh, a little sand place. That's perfect. I like the turtle. Okay, what's this one? So cute, I could hug it. Octopus. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. We're going to have, we could have a little octopus thing going. Yeah. So we can play in the sand. Oh, look at this. A seesaw. You gotta have a seesaw. <laughs> a box of beach. Actually, that seems a little more public park thing, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got the little writing things. We've got a s this, this, this. The kids should be able to have fun here. Skip the fearless dragon. Invade your child's playground with this terrifyingly cute 
dragon and turn their play place into a land of mythical beasts. Their playtime imagination will run wild when this guy pokes his head out of the sand and unleashes a reign of sandy terror upon the helpless playground village. Well, he's cute. I don't know if he does anything, but he's cute. What's that? Pillows. Yeah, we don't need pillows. Then there's this sort of thing for them to climb on and be fit and active. Aw, little bees. Okay, maybe that. So how do we make this into something pretty? I think I think we have enough going on here. And I may get rid of half of it. So how do we make this into something that makes sense? That's a good question. I'm not sure about this one. Kids Clubhouse. Uh, what else was there? That was that one. The Sunny Bungalow. Okay, that just sounds too... Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's cute, but... The Sci-Fi Hideaway. <laughs> okay, Princess and the Pauper. I think we have to go with the castle theme, don't you? Although, it's not much of a castle, but it's got the little balcony thing, so that, that might be all right. Well, yeah, we'll try for this one. How far back can we put it? Not far enough. All right, we'll stick that in here. You get the little beehive thing going. Okay, now we have to make sense of this. Now, when kids are playing, we don't want them running off. We don't want them getting lost. We don't some want somebody picking them up and taking them away. None of those are good things. So we are going to build here a shrubbery fence along this side of the park. I'm going to move in one. To there and then pull this down as well. And you know, you gotta keep the kids from running out into the road and doing what kids do when they're all excited about stuff. So step one. Now back here, apparently, if I'm going to keep the tree house here, now if I turn it, I suppose I can tuck it in a little further. Which maybe, maybe isn't a bad idea. Yeah, I don't know. Let's get in close and leave a little bit of space so that I can put in some kind of, like, flowers. Everybody needs flowers. Just saying. That's going to take four spaces, so that's no good. We need something that will give us a nice shrub, some greenery things going on, but that only has one square on the bottom. So something like this is awesome. Buckthorn. These actually work out really well in a lot of places. We'll toss a couple of these in random sizes. And that just makes that all a little more, you know, comfortable to be around. And you could use move objects and like stick them in really close here. So, but you know, we'll get to that later. And again, this is one of those places where the terrain paints can really make a nice, nice difference in how your garden is going to look later. Um, what does this look like? Let's go for the big one. What will that look like? Well, no, not for this. We just want some green stuff under here. Nothing too, you know, too, too. Maybe because the kids are there all the time, but bluegrass. I don't know. Let's try that. We'll put this under here. Will it make enough of a difference? I don't know. Let's try something else. Got to make sure we get it right. Whoops, put the plant back. Um, terrain, flowers are usually, for the most part, I like clover sometimes because it gives a bit of a hint of something without 
just being dramatically like this. That only works if you're planting serious on top of it. Lavender flowers and rose. Oh, okay. So if you're doing like French lavender country or something, that'd be fun. Groundworks daisies. Now that might just be kind of awesome. And swirl that around. And there we go. See, it, it just moves it in a little better. That'll be fine. So the kids can climb up there and do awesome, cool things. Oh, this is, a, I might say I lost something. Um, I would really like to have that facing a different way. So let's turn this there, this there, and that there. Now we can play with the colors in a little bit once we've got it all situated. For now, you know, we'll get to that when we get to that. I think I want two seesaws. So we'll put another one there. Because who ever heard of a playground with one? You've got you've got to get them next to each other so you can, you know, be competing a little bit. And who gets the highest and fastest and all those fun things. I'm gonna move that out of the way somewhere for a moment. I think I'm going to run that right along here. Now the sand. All right, let's get the little guys here tucked up out of the way. This is going to be a fun park. You watch. It's going to be awesome. Um. We'll stick that here. We gotta go leave the kids some room so they don't go sliding out into the sidewalk and smucking up their faces because that's not good. That's probably okay there. Um, this can we still use some of this? I don't know. It might just be too crowded. I might trash some stuff yet, but this is kind of cute too. And you know, it gets some get some climbing get some you know look like off the freaking computers and playing games all the time because you know that is not a good way to live much <laughs> oh my god if I had kids now they'd be such computer geeks of course I would have them riding horses too so it's not as bad as it sounds maybe put this here and here, and this could go here, maybe. Maybe there's just too many things, but we'll see how it works. And sometimes you don't know till you get the people in it, and you know once they're in, and you kind of go, oh god, this is total fail. Little Rocket Man, little B, and maybe we don't want all of these. We'll do a ship this way. Okay, if I put that right up against there. No, one out from where? Okay, so that over up a half. That over up a half. And then one, two. Is that where he is? One, two. And that leaves us just sort of an extra one. We have a rocket, we have a bee, we have a ship, we have a seahorse. You know what? We'll just trash the, bon the Bronco. And this is really not going to work. It breaks my heart. It's not going to happen. The snow cones and this we'll put over in the eating department. So we have a place where kids can play. That's kind of fun. It's not very pretty, but it's fun. So let's make it a little prettier. Um, flowers. Right along here. What can we put right along here? Actually, I don't think I want to do that because I want this to fit with the rest of everything else. So maybe we can't do too much with this because the kids are playing here. I don't know. I want to put 
put plants in. <laughs> but maybe that's not the right place for this. You know what? I'm going to call that done for now. Clearly for now. I'm going to want to change some of these colors. I'm going to want to make this coordinate a little bit better or at least make it feel like it's, you know, ugh, not like that done for now. So this is how I build. I put a lot of things down. I move a lot of things around. I will play with colors. Yeah, see, I, I know that there's got to be some way I can add more plants to this section. They'll come, but maybe it won't happen until I have everything else fixed. So that's section one. Like I said, we need an eating place. We need a garden or something else. Maybe this will be a, a place for some of these recreational things we found. We'll have a you know, you can golf or play table tennis or something. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, that's it. I'm done. Thank you for joining me again in The Sims 3. I do love this game so much. I'm going to get Tiberius Luck here for you guys to look at. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. Remember to do that. Give me your comments. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends. Uh, thank you for being here and being for such an amazing amazing part of my life i love you guys so until i see you next time choose to live your life happy and always build it beautiful bye bye